You know, Galatians 4 verse 4 reads, But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law. And, you know, isn't it amazing how some verses just stick in your mind from years and years ago? And I first heard this verse being read out in a library, in a discipleship centre in Pembroke. And, it, and I must have been about the age 6, 17, 16 at the time, 17. And it's just gone into my heart and it's just stayed there ever since. And, um, and I just find it such an awe-inspiring verse because when the fullness of time had come, it just indicates and reveals that God is in full control of every single part of human history. Now, we think we're in control, but we're not. God is in full control, ordaining the circumstances uh, for the arrival of his son. I mean, at the time uh, when Jesus arrived, Greek is the common language. Everybody's speaking Greek. But the gospel can be communicated quickly. Uh, when the disciples take it out and write the gospels, it can, be, it can spread really quick because people understand the Greek. The Romans are in control. They, they've built the roads. Travel has become much easier. At the same time that the, the Romans are controlling and ruling and, and the Jews are looking for a Messiah, they're looking for somebody to liberate them from the, the influence of, of Rome. And exactly at the right time, God sends forth his son, Jesus Christ and Jesus, the Messiah. The anointed one, he comes in at the perfect timing of the Lord and, and Jesus being sent forth from God. Uh, what, we, his, what we're seeing there is that Jesus pre-existed. Jesus existed up in heaven before he comes to earth and becomes a man. You know, the word becomes flesh. And God dwells amongst us. I mean, this is incredible. Uh, it's so amazing, you know, and the fullness of time. God sends forth his son and Jesus. He is born um, of, of the woman, you know, uh, born of the woman. He's born of the Virgin Mary. And uh, again, this is God's perfect timing, you know, prophesied there in the book of Isaiah that, that, that you know, he'll be born of the Virgin Mary. He'll be called Emmanuel, God with us. You know, rev you know, here God is re revealing that, that. How can I put no revealing? God is becoming human. He comes down, born of the Virgin Mary. So that he can identify with us. He can identify with our struggles, with our temptations. And, and he comes to be born to save us from our sin. Because you see, Jesus is born under the law. Jesus was born a Jew. You know, he was born under the law, under the discipline of the law. He has to keep the 613 commandments of the Old Testament. Um, he, he keeps the moral, the civil and the ceremonial law of Moses. And he keeps it in absolute perfection. Jesus didn't sin. If you break one of those commandments, one of those laws, then you, you, you've sinned. And Jesus never broke one law. Uh, praise God. Now, we've broken plenty of laws. We've broken plenty of rules. Uh, and that shows then that we have sinned. Then verse 5 reads, To redeem those who are under the law, that we might re receive the adoption as sons. Jesus has been born in the fullness of time. Sent forth from God the Father, born of a woman, born under the law, to save us who are law breakers. Jesus has come 
He has paid the price on the cross of Calvary. He was the perfect sacrifice of God because he wants us to be adopted into his family, to become the sons and the daughters of God the Father. And this happens when we believe on the Lord Jesus. It's as simple as that. When we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and we are justified by faith alone, and we are made right with God, we enter into the life, the fullness of the Lord Jesus Christ. So may you know this day, Christ in your lives, Christ in your heart, Christ around you, Christ leading and guiding you, because he is in full control. He existed before time began. And he comes in the fullness of time to save men and women like you and me. We have so much to be grateful for. May we live in the awe and the wonder of a sovereign God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your sovereignty. Thank you for that you are in full control. Lord, may we look to you, the author and perfecter of our faith. May your Holy Spirit fill us and may we reveal Jesus and his amazing wonder to those who are around us. Thank you, Lord. Fill us to overflowing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So may the Lord be with you and continue to reveal to you the amazingness.